So these uh, two lions back here, we have Scrunches and Peppy. Peppy is the male, Scrunches is the female. And they kind of came out of a, a bad situation. They were in Mexico. And unfortunately, we do get quite a few calls for animals in Mexico. The regulations for animals there is not very good at all. So a lot of animals are kept in really bad conditions. Um, these two actually started out doing uh, photos on the beach. So when they were babies, they were being used for photo taking. Once they were too big for that, they were given to a lady and um, basically she couldn't care for them. She had eight lions all kept in smaller cages than this all together and when she would feed them, they were being fed basically chicken bones and which can't sustain an animal and all eight would have to fight over the food. So Scrunches and her sister actually um, were really malnourished when they came in and Scrunches' sister ended up dying from um, some stomach issues. Scrunches is a little odd looking. A lot of people, you know, kind of give a double take when they look at her. Because she was so malnourished, uh, she didn't grow properly. And her top canines had to be removed because they were growing so long and her head was staying so small that they were actually growing into her bottom lip. Her right ear is all scrunched up. Looks like she had an injury when she was a baby. She came to us that way. That's how she got her name, Scrunches. And she also has a lot of joint problems, so she's on special special medication for that. But is it, it is expensive, and it's one of the things when you rescue an animal, you don't know what the costs are going to be when, when we bring them in. Uh, we hope to have a nice, healthy animal, but a lot of times they have a lot of underlying issues. But with the medication, it lubricates her joints, she's able to move, she can actually run a little bit, she can jump on our platforms, so she can live a normal life you know, with the help of people, generous people who believe in taking care of these animals as much as we do and have that passion that it's them that's keeping them alive. You know, we just, we do the grunt work. We do the cleaning and the caretaking of them, but we couldn't do it without people helping to support us.